Welcome to Woggle Guides. In this guide, I'll explain how you can quickly set up a filter in Gmail. Let's get straight into it. I'm logged into Google and I'm in my Gmail inbox. Filters are a tool provided in Gmail that allow you to manage and organize your emails automatically. They can be quite complex, but today I'll show you how to set up one of the most common filters, how to apply a label to any emails you receive. This will explain how filters work and give you the basic tools you need to set up your own. If you're looking for other types of filters, look out for the guide details shown in the top right of this video, which will show you how to set up some of the other common types of filters you'll find. Setting up any type of filter in Gmail always starts from the search bar at the top of the inbox. If I move my mouse pointer to that, I'm interested in the small filter icon on the right of the search box. Let's click on that once to open it. A new panel is then presented. This is the Gmail filter page and it will walk you through the steps needed to create your filter. So to automatically add a label to any emails we receive, we need to do this in two steps. On this page, I need to start by specifying how I want to identify the emails I'm going to add a label to. Gmail gives you the options to do this in a number of ways, such as who sent the email, what was in the subject or title of the mail, or even based on any words used in the email. I'm going to identify a group of emails based just on the email address of the person who sent it. To do that, I'll click into the From row, and I'll start to type the email address of someone I receive emails from regularly. You'll see Gmail start to suggest some of my contacts based on the emails I've received, and you can select someone from that list, or just continue typing their email address as I'm doing. Both ways will work fine. Once you're happy with that, press the return key to confirm that email address. Now that I've specified how to find the emails I want to add a label to, I want to create that filter. To do that, all you need to do is click on the Create Filter link at the bottom of the panel. This opens up a new panel where we now need to create the label we want to add this person's emails to. You can do that by moving your mouse pointer to the Apply the Label option in this list. To select that, I'll click into the checkbox on the left of that row. To create a label, I then need to move to the Choose Label drop-down box. If I click on the drop-down arrow, a list of all my existing labels is shown. And you can choose one of those. However, I'm going to create a shiny new label, and I'll select the New Label option. On choosing that, a new window then pops up that asks you to give your new label a name. I'll quickly do that, and to confirm it, I'll click on the large blue Create button. Gmail confirms that the label has been created and you'll see it's been added into the drop-down box. Before finally creating this folder, there's one more thing for you to think about. If you've already received a number of emails from the person whose emails you've been searching for, then Gmail may find some existing email conversations as part of creating the filter. At the bottom of this panel, you'll see that Gmail has found a number of email conversations in my inbox that match my filter search. This means that I can apply the label I've just created to these existing emails if I wish. I'm going to choose to do that by selecting the checkbox to the left of that row. To finally create this filter, all I now need to do is select the large blue Create Filter button. And you'll see in my inbox, when I now receive an email from that person, the label I've created is automatically added to it. I hope you find this Woggle Guide useful and learn something new. If you have, please like this video or subscribe for free so that you can find out when new guides are available. Thanks for watching and do look after yourself until next time.